Well, hello folks, and welcome to another edition of BC Renovation Magazine. Uh, so this video is going to be a little bit different than uh, the other videos, some of the other videos that we've been uh, putting up. And in this video, I want to tell you uh, a little story. And it's a little story about, uh, well, a little bit of community spirit and uh, some of the things that we experience when we go into these mobile home parks and do these projects that we're doing. So, uh, for the most part, um, I work on these projects by myself. I uh, occasionally, when I need extra help, I'll have uh, some friends or family come in and give me a hand, or I'll hire someone to, you know, come in for a few hours or a few days and give me a hand. But uh, for the most part, uh, I, I'm in there by myself, and you know, these projects take a while because of the way I the way I work. Uh, I'm in my 60s and I'm doing this in my semi-retirement as uh, you know it's just something to something to do and it's something that I really enjoy and so you know when you're uh, around for uh, you know that long it, it takes us about a year by the time you know we buy one of these and do the renovation and then you know get it sold uh, our timeline is typically a year and we try to do one of these a year uh, but you get to know the people that uh, you know live around you, uh, live around these in, in these parks. You know you're there every day, uh, working away, and uh, you know you meet people, and uh, you uh, really get a good sense of the community spirit uh, that's in uh, that's in these communities. Uh, and I have to say, you know, over the years I've done a lot of uh, projects in you know different communities, uh, not just mobile home. Uh, communities, you know, we've we've done work in you know residential, you know, typical residential type communities, and and I have to say that you know that the people in in these mobile home parks um, are you know some of the most contented and satisfied and happy people that I that I know. Um, they're just such nice, sincere people. Uh, you know, they're ready to give you a hand whenever whenever you want and. Uh, uh, that's part of the project that I really enjoy uh, is the you know the interchange that I have with the people that, that live there uh, you know when I start going back and doing you know repeat projects in a, in a park uh, you know I get to make friends with some of these people and uh, it's it's a lot of fun you know we go back and forth uh, you know they come over and uh, you know want ideas for their renovation and uh, you know we talk back and forth they give me ideas for my renovation. Uh, hot days, they bring me over cool drinks, uh, you know, or have me over for a cup of coffee. Uh, you know, I get cookies coming over to my uh, to my job sites and uh, cupcakes and muffins and fresh fruit, and uh, it's just it's it's a lot of fun, and I really enjoy the community aspect uh, that I see and feel in these in these mobile home parks. Um, so you know, uh, t today I, I want to tell you this little story about a sign, and uh, I hope you enjoy this little video. Thanks for watching. So when we bought this little mobile home, there was a mailbox on the front of the home on the front corner. You can see it there under the number twenty-three address sign, and uh, in the process of uh, you know, cleaning things up there and getting ready for the renovation. I had my utility trailer backed up and was stripping things off the outside and, you know, throwing them in the trailer, getting them ready to take to the dump. So I uh, pulled that mailbox and bracket off and threw it in the trailer and, uh, you know, it was ready to go to the dump. I no sooner had done that and I thought to myself, you know, that uh, bracket looks, you know, kind of special. It's not something you're going to see at Walmart or, or, you know, Home Depot and, uh, Anyway, I, I pulled it off the trailer and took a look at it, and yeah, I could see that this thing was handmade and uh, hand-forged. It had someone's initials stamped into, into it, and I thought, you know, I'm going to save this. So I took it home, showed it to my wife, and I said to her, you know, I'd uh, like to put this, uh, use this bracket in, uh, in, in the renovation, and I want to put it in a place of prominence as of, uh, you know, kind of respect for the uh, people that live there and respect for the person who had made that thing. So it sat in my shop for, you know, several months while I contemplated what I was going to do this thing with this thing. And uh, one day it came to me, uh, you know, I'm going to make an address sign with this. 
Yeah, so I fabricated up the address sign and you know cleaned up the bracket a bit and uh, I decided you know this was going to this was going to be the address sign for the home. So I put it up on the front post there by the front step and uh, I was working in the home one day working inside and uh, I got a knock on the door and it was the son of the lady that lived in the home next to next to us. And, uh, you know, those people had been there from day one, like almost 30 years. And uh, so uh, I gave the son a tour of the inside of the home. He wanted to have a look, see what we were doing. And anyway, we uh, get back to the front step and we're standing on the front step and he, he, talking. And uh, he looks at the uh, address sign and he says, you know, that bracket looks familiar. He says, I made one just like that in my grade eight shop class. So I said, well, you know, there's uh, some initials in there, and I, I'd forgotten by then what the initials were. And we looked, and sure enough, they were his initials. So it turns out that he had made this uh, that bracket in his grade 8 uh, shop class years and years ago, and somehow it ended up uh, on the home next door. And uh, anyway, he was uh, quite pleased. Uh, here he is. He was quite pleased to have that bracket uh, displayed uh, as we had... Uh, I had decided to display it and uh, thought it was a fitting tribute to, uh, to both him and uh, to the uh, previous owners of the home.